Hello, my name is Stephen from London Flat Roofing. In this video, I'm going to outline how a cold flat roof works and explain the known advantages and disadvantages of the system. If you want to watch my video on warm roofs, a link is provided below. And there's also a link to a more in-depth comparison of both the warm and cold flat roof systems. Okay, now let's go and have a look at the model of the cold flat roof. Now this is a model of a uh, cold flat roof construction that I've put together here. Um, quickly go through the components that you can see. Obviously, this is a wall. Uh, these are joists. These are joist hangers. This is a plasterboard ceiling with a vapour barrier on the top. I explained that in my third video. Decking across here. This black is the membrane, which is the waterproofing membrane. Um, I think you could call this the EPDM, but really you could put on this roof construction, this could be felt, um, this could be Kemper, there could be all sorts of different roofing um, products on top of this. Um, now this area here is a lead flashing, and the lead flashing is over the top of a grill that allows airflow. And at the back, uh, in, in this area here, across here, this is open so that air can flow directly through. So the, the principle of a cold roof construction is that all the heat in the room below is kept in because the insulation is sitting on top of the plasterboard. That means that the gap or the cavity above, which has got to be a minimum of 50 mil, um, here it's slightly bigger, uh, is what we call a cold roof space and should be vented. This means that the structure above is cold, hence it's called a cold roof construction. Now, ventilation needs to be given at both ends, this end and this end. So on this construction, um, there is a detail here that has to be built, which isn't on the, um, the warm roof, and I'll explain the warm roof later. So the advantages of a cold roof is that it's not so high as a warm roof. On a warm roof, the insulation goes on top of all of this area and the roof covering goes on top of that. So the advantages of a cold roof are that it's not so deep in height. And this helps us when we're doing retrofit and some new build if we've got door thresholds which run across approximately here, doors open out onto balconies, um, we then we can save, save height of the ceilings of the rooms down below um, because of using this system. The disadvantages of using this system are that it's more expensive to build because one's got to put all the ventilation along here and all the ventilation along here. It's also not thermally as good because there is thermal bridging through the joists um, through here and also through the joist hangers. Uh, in my third video on this I actually show you some thermal images which we've taken of the thermal bridging on a cold roof and on a warm roof. Okay I hope that's been helpful for you. If you need any more information on the cold roof or any roof construction my name is Stephen from London Flat Roofing.